Thank you, Tricia. Can everyone hear me loud and clear? Okay, so yeah, I go by the name Sammy Rams, and I want to do a quick energy check in this room. When I say Sammy, you say Rams, Sammy, Ram. Sammy, Ram. love. Okay, so the piece I'm going to share for you today is called Hustle Culture. We're here talking today about, you know, the grind, and this piece I wrote because the grind is kind of a struggle, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Hustle culture, got us competing against one another, breaking our backs with side hustles, trying to out-hustle each other. Some of us are just trying to live comfortably and provide for others, because we've been raised in single-parent households with struggling mothers, can't rely on our fathers, partners or brothers, got to be a boss and own it, can't depend on others. Yeah, the pressure to succeed in this dunya starts in class. It's not sufficient to pass if you ain't white male or upper class. you got to be top of the class and get a first-class honor, trying to be uniform with societal norms. We wear our burnout like a badge of honor to service the man and cause the body dishonor. Glamorizing the ground until we are goners. Killing dreams, my body screams for me to make change so that I can make change without having to suffer. We put so much devotion into getting that promotion. Inflicted with stress, the process impacts our mental and impacts our motion. We gain pounds as we raise the rank, but those pounds ain't always placed in bank. They are placed on waste and placed on hips. Money back Bags on the right eyes from losing kip. We carry the weight of the world and start losing it. But get a grip the minute we remember our why and for who we are doing it. At the end of it, we might get the title and might get the benefits. But if in the process we get sick, who really benefits? These times that all important salary increases and always guaranteed to come with it. Hustle culture got us competing against one another. Breaking our backs with side hustles, trying to out hustle each other. Some of us are just trying to live comfortably and provide for others. Because we've been raised in single parent households with struggling mothers. Can't rely on our fathers, partners, or brothers. Gotta be a boss and own it. Can't depend on others. Yeah, if you are female, black, brown, mix, or other, you would have serviced the man and caused the body to sunder in order to honor the pressure put on you to go above and beyond till you were a gunner. They'll have you working all hours, abusing your strength and reducing the power. Far from a hot mess, they know you are a goddess. Bossing it at home and bossing it in the office, leading the way, but getting in the pay of a novice until you work your way up to the top and it's a long way up i've had to job hop in order to get paid a wage that's more than the minimum they lure us in from a young age expecting more than the minimum working long days sacrificing saturdays and doing internships that are unpaid they just take like we ain't got meals to make and bills to pay some learn the hard way but i am no man's slave these days i work for myself and do things my way freelance and charge a day rate for my services. I've been grinding from early, so I'm deserving this. Had a paper round at 12, and now I run my biz. Got a roof over my head, but here I am trying to own a crib. Hustle culture, got us competing against one another. Breaking our backs with side hustles, trying to out-hustle each other. Some of us are just trying to live comfortably and provide for others, because we've been raised in single-parent households with struggling mothers. Can't rely on our fathers, partners or brothers. Got to be a boss and own it. Can't depend on others. Yeah. Yeah, we place more value on assets than our self-worth, forgetting we gotta say bye to all the things we buy when we leave this earth. But we wasn't birthed to grind until we leave this earth. We should be working to live, not living to work. Hustle culture's toxic, but once you start, it's hard to stop it. It should be purpose over profit, but we're too busy filling pockets, upgrading our gadgets and upgrading our closets. Everything you need, you've already got it. Anything you want, you can probably cop it. But if the opportunity came to make even more profit. How many of you living comfortably would actually knock it? Thank you. Yeah.